cancer nurses are still uh, needed in the multidisciplinary teams because uh, patients are not coming as lot uh, to the hospitals. Uh, we are more do dealing with uh, e-health communication and therefore cancer nurses can be advocating patients. It's very crucial to get, this, to get cancer nursing around the table for a patient discussion but also for like discussion about guidelines uh, about how we're going to manage this situation in the hospitals. With the COVID-19 pandemic, the use of personal protective equipment are massively increased and PPEs are crucial tools to prevent infection with the virus. As nurses, we are used to work with uh, personal protective equipment for the preparation and administration of cytotoxic treatments, and this should be standard in cancer treatment practices. But unfortunately, the evidence tells us that the situation is far from ideal across Europe and the rest of the world, and that PPEs are not always available in daily cancer nursing practice. Cancer nurses are aware of the danger of transmitting infections because we are used to work with the neutropenic population. Unfortunately, also cancer nurses can be infected by the virus and therefore it's crucial we follow up the current guidelines from the moment we show symptoms. The danger of increasing contamination in cancer nurses with COVID-19 will only increase the workload on the remaining colleagues on the work floor. I think the ESMO EON Sport partnership always reflected uh, collaboration and teamwork as key to ensure the continuum of cancer care. And the value of this collaboration during uh, the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic is there is a lot of exchanging information and knowledge so we can learn from each other uh, because there is not a lot of evidence outside we can beat cancer even during a worldwide pandemic.